entry number 47. This is by Kia Plurijuga. The African teak, Rhodesian teak, Zambezi teak, Zambezi redwood. And I'm here at the Wangi Safari Lodge in Wangi, northwestern Zimbabwe. This tree is was put in, in Lynn Mullen's book as a representative sample of the teak that once forested the whole of northwestern Zimbabwe. So what happened was these trees were obviously encountered by early explorers and when the railway was built up to Victoria Falls there was a demand for railway sleepers. Initially they were made from metal but very quickly people found that this timber was absolutely outstanding for railway sleepers. And so in 1908 British South African company gave its first concession to harvest timber for to use in these railway sleepers and for the next few years there was pretty much uncontrolled exploitation of the teak forests. Now back in those days these trees used to grow to a height of 25 to 30 meters with a diameter of nearly two meters and a bowl which is the length of the stem before you get any branches of up to 10 meters high. So really solid massive bits of timber. By 1925 there were almost none of those left because they'd all been harvested and taken out and a young forester in the Fuller Forest area just north of here first noticed this and said to the government hey guys we need to control this and the government put a ban on the harvesting of teak and the use of teak for the railway sleepers and then of course when the teak railway sleepers were pulled up in the 1970s and 80s and replaced with concrete sleepers everyone started making furniture out of those old sleepers because this timber lasts and lasts not actually related to teak at all which is an Asian tree just very similar and slightly unfortunate that it was called that because that's probably what drove the mass effort to harvest these trees which was done sadly not on a very sustainable basis there are still big forests of this tree as you go along of when you drive from Bulawayo to Victoria Falls you'll see the tree of course on either side of you but uh, you very 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 rarely see trees of this size and this one here at the Wangi Safari Lodge is one of the biggest teak trees still remaining in Zimbabwe and a very fine example I'm sure you'll agree. I'm Gus the African Plant Hunter, great talking to you, I hope you enjoyed that, there's plenty more on my YouTube channel African Plant Hunter, check it out, thanks, bye.